good morning guys from the Glamis Sand Dunes. Yes, that beautiful set of dunes uh, that you cross on Interstate 8 and uh, Highway 78. Well, the Glamis is the off-highway recreation area and we just spent the night at the hill. Uh, the hill is Oldsmobile Hill and there's no way we're running up that hill, but it is pretty cool to have a vehicle that can stay the night right at the hill. Well, it's New Year's Eve. Seems like a perfectly fitting day to share with you what we have planned for 2020. Goals, dreams, hopes, what we're working on. This is gonna be a big year, so there's a lot to talk about. Well, let's get started with travel plans. Yeah, it's the turn of 2020. We're here in the deserts of Southern California. Uh, two weeks ago, we made a beeline down from Alaska. Our situation changed, guys. Our beloved Shelby passed away, and she was essentially the main reason why we went home. And we didn't feel like sticking around Alaska, staring at each other all winter, so we got back on the road, which is what we do best. Why did we make a beeline to Southern California? Well, it's the best darn weather in the United States in the winter, if you ask us. Um, it's adjacent to Baja and Arizona and all kinds of really cool places like that. It's also a great place for us to get stuff done on the truck because plans are happening. We're making them. We're not setting dates with you guys yet. I'm not committing to those. Not gonna get trapped into those dates. But what we are going to do is shoot for shipping this truck to Japan sometime this year. Sooner the better. No dates. But we are going to go big and go across the Pacific. And that's the goal. Now, if that falls through, we'll go to Europe. And if that falls through and all we can afford is fuel for the truck, we'll just head south. But we are going places. We are going international. Well, in preparation for those travel plans Ben just talked about, we have some modifications to do to the truck. And I'm kind of glad that we waited until we had owned this thing for a year, year and a half before we really dive into making said changes because what we've decided to do now is pretty different from what we would have done the very first summer we bought the truck. Uh, priority number one is to get air conditioning in the cabin. I think the last couple of weeks we've more than proven we can handle just about anything cold wise that gets thrown our way but on the flip side we need to be comfortable when it's hot out especially with the destinations we have in mind over the next few years so that will also require an onboard generator and um, because we cannot run the air conditioner for more than short periods of time off of solar and batteries so that's kind of the big mechanical changes that will happen. We also have a lot of cosmetic things and small things that we want to change. And like I said, we're going to do it all in one fail swoop instead of take the truck apart, put it back together, take it apart, put it back together. Just do it all at once. So that's on the docket for this year of 2020 in the spring here. You've heard me mention uh, that we're going to do some functional pimping to the truck. Well, it really does need a new front bumper, a winch, and a roof rack, a light bar. Those are functional, but yet they look really cool. And it's going to be a great opportunity for us to partner with some brands. Furthermore, the reason why we are here in Southern California, because it's a big center for industry. Whenever you're looking forward at a new year, you also have to look backwards at what you accomplished in the previous year. And 2019 was definitely our year to gear everything up and make all of our content and offerings more accessible and available to you. So that started with a CTV channel. Uh, right now, currently available on the Roku Stick. If you have a Roku Stick, just search his and hers vlogs. You'll find our channel and app you can subscribe to it and be able to get our content right on your smart TV. Uh, also going to be available in the very near future for Fire Stick and Apple TV, so stay tuned and we'll be sure to let you know as soon as that's available. Secondly, we also spent a lot of time on our website and that started with making our videos accessible there. So. We actually installed an entire video player where you can access all different kinds of playlists, 
save your favorites, yada, yada, yada. Go check it out. It's amazing. None of this would have been possible without Julie, who joined our team this year. Literally like our lifesaver. She's made such a difference for us and we're really excited for all the things we're getting ready to do coming up in the future too. Well, speaking of our website, it's more than just a place to binge on the videos. It's a resource. It's a place for more engagement with us. We offer His and Hers University courses, His and Hers 101 courses, forums, newsletters, e-zines, live calls with members. It is a great place to increase your engagement and learn at the same time. In addition to the website, we wanted to make sure that you could access everything we have to offer from your cell phone, so we also have an app available on the Apple Store as well as the Google Play Store. Uh, we can send you messages from there and you can also access all of our content, so be sure to download that to your phone. Well, since I'm wearing the gear, I'll talk about our new merchandise line called Outliers Overland. Uh, we're launching it officially in 2020. It's on our store, His and Hers Cash. Cash like the way Alaskans and people of the North Country store their important goods for the winter. C-A-C-H-E. Yes, C-A-C-H-E. Uh, but Outliers Overland, I think the name Outlier really I don't know, it resonates well with me and it means something different to everybody because we're all essentially outside the box thinkers and I want people to not be like a cog on the wheel. Just step outside your comfort zone. But essentially, Outliers, what does it mean to you? Another fun component of 2020, since we are spending the winter in the heart of the desert southwest where most of our traveling friends enjoy the winter months as well, we anticipate having some meetups, some get-togethers, hopefully even some group camping events. So be sure to subscribe over at Facebook and Instagram because we'll be sure to announce the dates there once we know when they'll happen. Since we just finished our journey down the Alaska Highway, it took its toll on the truck. The Fuso and the camper performed amazingly well, but it, some things did go wrong just due to uh, the environment and the sheer distance is covered. But the RV lock frosted up and some electrical components uh, shorted out. And fortunately, RV lock is an upstanding company. They sent us out free of charge the components to fix it. And we absolutely love that thing because it means we can lock our doors without having to take our keys. In the last video, the SPAR, uh, the circulation pump froze up on it. Uh, fortunately, it froze up in a position that it was not blocking circulation of uh, coolant for the engine. Uh, we have not ran it because I don't want that to happen, but I need to get uh, the part ordered and this is gonna be the third time going into that S-Bar. So I'm not too thrilled about it. Well, these next items don't really have much to do with the trip from Alaska. They're just kind of there. But you heard the crunching back there when we were driving through the dunes. Well, that's from our front leaf spring bushings, the uh, upgraded parabolic leaf springs from Earth Cruiser. We need to take them apart and uh, put new bushings in and maybe some other components because they have been crunching really, really hard since the Dempster Highway Adventure. Not looking forward to that job because I don't have the tools for that job. And unfortunately, we're probably gonna have to pay somebody to do that. We have to give a couple shout outs now. First off, the Yokohama tires uh, that we got last spring, they handled amazingly well on the winter roads up north. Uh, they have overall been a very good tire. We have the Yokohama Geolander G015s. Uh, we are very happy with them. The one issue we do have, and it's more in relation to the nature of the truck, is we have a lot of weight over the rear axle, so the rear tires wear out quick, and we are already due for a new set of tires back there. I'd be remiss if I did not give a shout out to Battleborn Batteries. The battery bank was a very key component to our travel in the North Country. And with the sun being low on the horizon, every ounce of juice helped. Uh, very, very happy with how the Battleborn lithium batteries performed up in those cold climates uh, since we have them inside the camper. And all in all, just an amazing game changer of an upgrade. 
We did do some upgrades to the house before we left this year, and I think the most important one for us was to install a security camera system at the house. There's really a lot of uh, just alleviates concerns when you can click and look at home anytime you want, know that everything is okay inside and out. Okay, well, wrapping this video up, 2020, Rebecca and I are looking to seek balance in life and sustainability in work. I hate to say we are workaholics and we would just like to uh, step back, reevaluate things and search to make this work really well for the long term with you guys. And part of striking that balance is jumping on opportunities like today. We came out to Akatia Wells to spend New Year's Eve with our good friends Russ and Christine. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see what else we are up to in 2020. Thanks for joining us. See you later. There's Nikki. Hi, Hi Nick. Hi, Hi. 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 What's up? Hi. You never told us you're coming. Well, are we not allowed to surprise you? Yeah. All right. <laughs>